Hello friends, welcome to Gaurav's Arena. This is Gaurav Chodnekar and today in this video tutorial, I will show you overloading of static methods in Java. So for that, I will be using Notepad++ as my software and CMD to execute it. So you can use Eclipse or NetBeans as per your choice and even the basic Notepad. So now as usual, let us start with import java.io.star semicolon now let us save this file with the name over static fn dot java and save okay so basically what we are expected to do in this program is to overload two methods having the same name and they are static with different parameters to get the different outputs so for that we would be finding the area of a rectangle and the area of a square so now let us start with it class over static fn open this class public static void name Hold me string args. Now let us close this main, close the class, and now we will start here. As we are overloading static functions, we make sure that all the methods are static. Now it's static, return type is int area. Okay, now we will make int length, comma int breadth now let us calculate it directly i would return the answer that is length into breadth method for calculation of area of rectangle okay so this method would calculate the area of a rectangle which you can perform a calculation store it in a variable and then return that variable instead i have just directly returned the variable and now this one will be the method for calculation of area of square so this method too will be static int okay, static int then the parameters i mean the name will be same area but the parameters just will be the length that is only one side of the circle sorry the one side of the square again we will return length into length okay fine the rectangles area is calculated by multiplying the length into breadth and similarly a squares area is find out by multiplying the side into side that is the side square so we will be just multiplying l into l now let us do something i have made a mistake here these all are functions and hence they must be put outside the main okay that's it So now in the main method, we would make an object of the class. Let us see. Mm, we can make over static fn. I will make the object as o is equal to new over static fn constructor. I have made the object and called its constructor. Now let us see what we are to do now let us say system dot out dot println in bracket double inverted quotes area of rectangle is double inverted quotes completed plus i will call the method area and pass on two parameters let us say 10 comma 20 okay. two brackets completed semicolon now similarly 
I would just say the area of square is I will just call the area method with just one parameters we are having two methods with the same name but different parameters now let us see what happens when I try to execute it now initially let us try to compile it Java C over static fn okay over static fn dot Java so that's we are good to go we don't have any error here now java over static fn so it shows the area of rectangle is 200 whereas the area of square is 100 now let us see what happens that is the 10 in and 20 are passed then 10 into 20 will result into 200 and similarly the 10 into 10 calculation will result into value as 100 so that's good we are going good with our program so both of them are over overwriting the static function the static function is static int area with two different parameters the the classification of the method which is to be invoked is done on the basis of parameters so you can't do something like having two parameters of the same size say intel and b and int a and c similarly it won't work but you can tr surely try it for two different data types such as one is int another is string be sure to pass the right parameters on the right position it may cause some of the worst errors you might face okay so initially back in the video i i had made a mistake to write the static functions inside the main so please be careful to avoid such things i hope you like the video i also hope that it solves all of your errors all of your doubts thank you for watching my video see you soon